Commander Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency has been making a lot of cool videos online explaining how things work in space. He also has an outstanding Twitter feed, which I will link to, showing pictures of the Earth from where he is in orbit. But today we're going to look at how water reacts in zero gravity. Now, he had an older video that we're going to look at right now of what happens when you cry in space. My eye is full of tears. But you can see it just forms a ball on my eye. In fact, I can put more water in. And so if you keep crying, you just end up with a bigger and bigger ball of water in your eye. Until eventually it crosses across your nose and gets into your other eye. So he didn't actually cry. He put drinking water up to his eye to simulate tears because he's a man. Yeah, Tim. he doesn't cry. He's a commander. And a Canadian. And what happened was the water didn't fall down the face, obviously, no gravity. It kind of just pooled a little bubble under his eye, and if there's enough of it, it can slide over the bridge of his nose to the other side. I think that's outstanding. That's like, well, we've never thought about this before. How does water react in space? He also has videos of like what, what, how he shaves in space, how he eats, or how he prepares food in space. Space food. Space food. In space. Space man eating space food in space, obviously. So recently, he wrung out a washcloth filled with water to see, well, wh how does the water react when there's no gravity to pull it down? Do we have video of that? Yes, we do. To uh, squirt a bunch of water into this washcloth. Okay, so here's a soaking wet washcloth. Get the microphone so you can hear me while I'm talking. And now let's, let's start wringing it out. It's really wet. It's becoming a tube of water. The water is all over my hands, in fact. It rings out of the cloth into my hands. And if I let go of the cloth carefully, the water He's a water bender! So cool. <laughs> that said, I completely understand why some people think that NASA funding is stupid. No, it's not. <laughs> it, he I, wasn't being funded I to do that. I didn't say it was stupid. I said that if we sent him up there to do that, that is not what and he it was costs sent there to billions, do. it does it doesn't He cost is doing billions, important research. Millions. What he's doing is just giving us a view into what his daily life is as a man orbiting Ringing out towels. around in zero <laughs> gravity. Sure, you, you can do a video series like that too on Earth. I don't know if it will be as successful. In fact, I know it won't be. Ugh. But it just looks so, like the little things in space that we, we don't think about, like what's it like to ring out a washcloth? It means nothing here, but there it's like, it's pooling around, it's going on his hands, not disappearing. He's got a free moisture layer of pure moisture. The conclusion that we draw from this is we want to go to space. The conclusion that I draw is that everything Chris Hadfield does is awesomely rad. Both of these facts are true. So cool. That guy is so cool. Yeah, you should definitely follow his Twitter feed and watch his from videos. From space. He tweets from space. <laughs> it's so cool. Here's, here's a question, though, that I was thinking about. So, uh, he was wringing out that rag that was full of water around all the sensitive computer equipment that's assumedly keeping him well, alive. Is that an issue? Does he have to deal with that? He knows how the water will react in zero gravity. Nobody knows how water will react in zero gravity. We all, all do now. Place. We all do now. Yeah, but the, like little droplets were like drifting off towards important, expensive things. Things that were like keeping him alive. Well, um, those things still work. <laughs> I know, but like you gotta like go catch every drop of water. That reminds me of that one Simpsons episode where Is he has the chips. Chip. And they get in the systems and the ants are like, what do we do? Protect the queen. I'm the queen. No, you're not. And then it just all breaks. Well, thankfully life isn't the Simpsons. It is awesome. And so is Commander Chris Hatfield. So awesome. Space! Hey guys, look what I smuggled aboard. Homer, no! Huh? They'll clog the instruments! Careful, they're ruffled.